Padua. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good Saint Anthony, servant of God, you were inflamed with a desire to sacrifice your life for the cause of Jesus' message. The Lord made the scriptures a glowing flame in your mind and heart. Your sermons were filled with the words of the Lord. May we listen to the same Lord speaking to us in the Bible with the same reverent openness as you had. Let the same flames of your love set our hearts ablaze and cause tears of repentance upon listening to God's word. May we feel the presence of Jesus in the scriptures, just like the people of your day, when you preached the word of God to them. Let the fire of your tongue inspire our cold hearts and embrace him who gave his life to us. Amen. Act of reparation to the sacred heart of Jesus. Together, O oh, sweet Jesus, behold us prostrate before your altar, eager to repair by a special act of homage the cruel indifference and injuries to which your loving heart is everywhere subject. Mindful that we have had a share in such great indignities, which we now deplore from the depths of our hearts, we humbly ask your pardon and declare our readiness to atone by voluntary expiation not only for our own personal offenses, but also for the sins of those who, straying far from the path of salvation, refuse in their obstinate infidelity to follow you, their shepherd and leader, or renouncing the vows of their baptism, have cast off the sweet yoke of your law. We are now resolved to expiate each and every deplorable outrage committed against you. We are determined to make amends for the manifold offenses against Christian modesty, for all the foul seductions, for the frequent violations of Sundays and holidays, and the shocking blasphemies uttered against you and your saints. We wish also to make amends for the insults to which your vicar on earth and your priests are subjected, for the profanation of the very sacrament of your divine love, and lastly, for all the public crimes of nations who resist the rights and teaching authority of the Church, which you have founded. Would, O Divine Jesus, we were able to wash away such abominations with our blood. We now offer, in reparation for these violations, the satisfaction you once made to your Eternal Father, and which you continue to renew daily on our altars. We offer it in union with the acts of atonement of your Virgin Mother and all the saints, and of the pious faithful on earth. And we sincerely promise to make recompense as far as we can with the help of your grace for all the neglect of your great love and for the sins we and others have committed. Henceforth, we will live a life of unwavering faith, of purity of conduct, a perfect observance of the precepts of the gospel, and especially of charity. O loving Jesus, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mother, receive the voluntary offering we make of this act of expiation, and keep us faithful until death, so that we may all one day come to that happy home where you reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the anticipated Eucharistic celebration of the Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. Also, the fourth day of our Novena Masses in honor of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Our sponsors for this Mass are the Parish Youth Ministry and the Shepherd's Flock. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Vic Capacible. everyone good evening father good evening my brothers and sisters those who are online we thank god for this feast of the corpus christi the body and blood of christ let us begin our celebration in the father of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit originally this feast was uh, thursday parang uh, last supper thursday diba? holy week holy thursday it is a thursday after uh Pentecost, after Pentecost, the, the Trinity, and then the Thursday after, in some parts of the world, is still up to now on the Thursday after the Trinity. But again, for para Sunday, it is the Sunday after that. That is why, for us in the Philippines, we celebrate it today uh, to commemorate Holy Thursday's Last Supper. We thank God for the body and blood of Christ on this great feast as we have our uh, fourth day in our Novena of Masses in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I was late, I was late. I wore, I wore something different because I said, right? Corpus Christi. Then I was like, I'm going to wear this one, right? Because it's Sacred Heart, right? Then I said, it's not really Corpus Christi. So this is combined body and blood at saka sacred heart, di ba? Kaya na-late ako, pasensya na, na-late ako kasi nagpalitan ako. Sabi ko, ba ito ako magpapalit? Ang ganda-ganda nga, di ba? So, perfect. What, what, what better way to celebrate this fourth day in our Novena of Masses in honor of the body and blood of Christ? Same, same. Jesus Christ, His body and blood, His presence. For the times we have taken this for granted, we pause for a few moments to be called to mind our sins and experience His love and His mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your love, body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruit of your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, we will do everything that the Lord has told us. 
Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people, who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant. Since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgression under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together, let us recite the sequence. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which and dog may not be spent. Truth, the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing. Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling. Mana to the Father sent. Very blood, very bread, good shepherd tend us. Jesus, of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such, such food bestow, Grant us with your saints, though lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go to the city and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, My teacher says, where is my guest room that I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show him a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he told them. And they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took the bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks. He gave it to them. They all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant with which we, which we shed for many. Amen. I say to you, I shall not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went off to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good evening to everyone. Good evening, Father. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Last Sunday, we celebrated the Feast of the Holy Trinity. I began by this story. I will repeat it again, no? about I anointed a man, 90 plus years old, kinuwento niya sa akin yung regrets. My only regret is this. He's a very successful businessman. My only regret is this. As I was starting my family, because I was very successful, very, very busy, I gave presents, but no presents. I bought the best money can buy, but no presents. Now I am old, my children is doing the same thing to me. All presents, no presents. Dati, yaya, yaya, yaya. Yun ang presents ko, yaya, yaya, yaya. Ngayon, yaya, yaya, yaya ako ngayon. What you plant is what you harvest. Now I regret Spending time, presence. I did not give my time. Busy, eh, busy. Eh. Madaming dahilan. Busy, busy, busy. No presence. No belonging. You belong to the gifts, material. No physical presence. That was the gospel was about belonging. We belong. We need relationships. In the perfect relationship of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we participate in that. We share in the presence of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That was last week. And then this week, presence again. But now the presence in the flesh, body and blood given to us. Presence again. You know? um, remember, God made himself present. His very presence, the first joyful mystery, the Word became flesh in the Annunciation first. In the third glorious mystery, the birth, the Nativity. In the flesh, God with us, presence, His real presence. And then in the fifth mystery of light, in the institution of the Eucharist, which we heard today, in the gospel, the Last Supper, he instituted the Eucharist. This is my body. This is my blood. This eat, now drink. Presence. His very presence in our lives today. The importance of presence. Not distant, but with us. Buhay na buhay. 
presence talaga. Kaya ganyong kaganda yung presensya ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Very, very present. But he continues, Man does not live on bread alone, but from every word that comes from the mouth of God. It is not just presence. There is also the word that accompanies it. The word. That is why we always say, ulit ulit, we have two communions. Pope Benedict will say, two communions, two tables. The lectern, the ambo, and the Eucharistic table. Pope, Fra Pope Benedict will say, we have two communions. Ha? The communion in the word, the meeting of the minds by words, it is deepened and continued here as we receive, we are made one body and one flesh. Holy communion. Two tables. I will add the third table. Yung mesa natin sa bahay. Pag walang mesa, walang communication sa mesa, mag-isa ko kumakain, galit-galit, walang mesa. Pag walang mesa, walang misa, walang mesa dyan, wala dito. We need our dining tables. We need to reconcile. Dapat ayos, hindi galit-galit, hindi lokohan sa mesa. There is no presence in the table also. Nagte-text habang kumakain, di ba? No presence. Galit-galit sa mesa. Galit-galit ka sa mesa, pupunta ka dito para magmisa. There is no reconciliation in the mesa. Whether it is the dining table, office table, school table. Pag walang mesa, lokohan ng mesa, then you will dare come here. Di ba? The cross. The horizontal dimension are mesa and the misa. That's the cross to complete it. Hindi pwedeng purus misa. Vertical dimension lang. Wala akong mesa. Galit-galit tayo sa mesa. Walang usapan sa mesa. Kahit na masama loob ko siyo, kahit nakaaway kita, okay lang, kain lang tayo. That is why we say there's a third table. Our dining tables, our office tables, our school tables, whatever table that is. We have to be reconciled as a prerequisite in order for us to truly celebrate Holy Communion. It is Holy Communion. Eh. Kaya napaka halaga ng mensahe sa atin. Lilihis tayo ng konti, di ba? Kaya sala, sa salas, dining room, hindi pwedeng diretsyo sa hapagkainan, kailangan living room muna. Magkwentuhan man na tayo, let us break word before we break bread. Himagkwentuhan mo tayo, let us break the word of God. Yung tanong nga ay, Father, kailan ba late? Which part of the Mass will I be considered late? Pag ma-first reading ba? Second reading ba? Gospel ba? O anong parte ng Misa will you consider being late? Di ba? Tinatanong natin yun. No? Pwede kailan valid or invalid? Eh, mahalaga yung word eh. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, ah, abot ka pa. Basta dito ka sa Eucharist. Magkasama yung Word and the Eucharist. Eh. Magkasama yung salas at saka dining table. Eh. As a matter of fact, may prerequisite nga. Eh. May prerequisite ko. Sana nga sa mesa, bago pumunta rito, o pagkatapos dito yung mesa, we're reconciled. There is confession, reconciled, in order for us to be isang puso. Balik loob, nasa loob, hindi nasa labas. Pag nasa labas, walang komunyon. And this why it's very, very important. So we have the reminder of presence once again. In the table, in the Word, in our tables, whatever table that is. Dati, which is, I don't know kung meron pa rin eh. Dati, I guess meron pa rin, but it's all virtual eh. Dati, Meron long distance relationships. Nasa abroad, long distance, no? Ubra ba yung long distance relationships? Ngayon meron pa rin naman eh. Virtual, kompleto na. You have all all the mechanisms. You can see, you can talk live. Libre pa in a certain sense. Basta may Wi-Fi, basta may signal, you can talk, no? Uh, iba yung virtual. Salamat sa virtual masses. Salamat. We can communicate all over the world. Sa anuman lupalop sa buong mundo, salamat sa virtual mass, salamat dito. Pero, kunyari, mag-asawa, mag-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend, 
Pwede ba? You will not see each other live? Pwede ba yun? No touch? No kiss? Pwede ba yun? No actual presence? Will that work? Contento ka na ba sa virtual? Iba yung tunay. Kaya nga minsan, no, may nagsisimba. Pagbigay mo ng kumunyon, bubuhos yung luha. Ano nangyari? Ano nangyari? Kasi Father, after one year and a half, ngayon lang ako ulit nakapagkumunyon. Ngayon lang ako nag-live. For more than one year, it was all virtual because of this pandemic. For the first time, the joy, iba yung live eh, iba yung virtual eh, iba yung spiritual communion eh. You cannot compare virtual and real. But for now, it suffices, but it cannot be forever. So for those who want to go to communion, please come, anytime. Come to us, we will give you communion. With the Mass, without Mass, we presume, we trust you went to your virtual masses. Come here, we will give you communion anytime. Call us, warn us, we will give you communion. Iba yung tunay eh. Eh, baka, baka ma-COVID ako eh. We have, we have a ultraviolet cabinet. This one, goes to the ultraviolet cabinet all the time. Itong chalice, bago lumabas, galing sa ultraviolet camera. Ano, it is a cabinet eh. Yung mga kapitbahay natin na pare, we gave ultraviolet cabinets to some parishes. Maybe we will give more, God willing, if you will give us, if God will provide us. All the parishes, the linen, all of this, the books, all ka, yan, you know, galing sa, pa, timing na timing naman, ah, nagpapasikat si Bong. Bagong luto, galing sa UV oven, ultraviolet oven. No? Uh, timing na timing, ah. <laughs> Parang scripted, ah. Ang galing, ah. But everything comes from the UV cabinet. So for those who are afraid, Naku, baka ma-COVID. We try our very best. That's the only thing we can do. It all comes from ultraviolet light, supposed to be. We don't know how effective it is. But aside from the regular disinfection, the, uh, the last one is the ultraviolet. Uh, so please come for Holy Communion. Iba yung live eh. Iba yung spiritual eh. It cannot be. We know how important human touch is. We know how important a kiss is. I wonder, meron ba mag-asawa? No touch? Meron ba mag-asawa? No kiss? Two years, no kiss? Meron ba yun? Posible ba yun? May asawa ka ba? <laughs> I wonder, no, no making, no love making. Let us not bastardize love making. Love is being made. Imagine, no kiss. Virtual? Touch is a need among family members in that bubble. Please hug one another. Kiss one another. If you live in that bubble, you can. Kailangan eh. It's a need. We cannot survive without need. There is a disease for lack of touch. It is called marasmus. For children who are not touched, hindi mo buhatin, paiyakin mo lang sa crib buong araw. Naku! Magkakasakit, lack of touch. It is a basic human need. That is why Christ became flesh. So we can touch Him. We can feel Him. Presence. Alive. Kaya hindi pwede hindi. Hindi po pwede. Iba yung tunay. And we pray to God. We pray to God today. 
Hindi pwedeng words, all words. I love you, I love you, I love you. That is why words, yes, words. But we need symbols and signs. We need a kiss. We need a flower, a concrete flower. Hindi a virtual flower. We need virtual food. No, not virtual food. We need the hug. Hindi virtual hug. Tunay na hug. It is essential. It is not luxury. Sa mag-asawa, ha? Baka mamaya, kung saan saan mo hinahanap yung touch na yan, <laughs> yung kiss na yan, ha? Nako, magka-COVID ka sana. <laughs> magka-COVID ka lang, di ba? Pero ang tatapang, no? Ang tatapang, magugulat kayo. Yung mga massage parlors, bukas na naman. The red light district is on. When you see, when you pass at night, you see the... There is some, for some people, it's a need. An illegal need. <laughs> to be touched by somebody other than your wife or your husband. Bato-bato sa langit, tamaan, wag magahit. But anyway, uh, so we thank God for this reminder for us. He made Himself present among us. The Beaticum, I began the story with the man who received anointing of the sick, the 90-year-old man, the 90-year-old plus man, and his regrets. He was given Beaticum. Beaticum is the last sacrament, also known as anointing of the sick, also known as what used to be known as extreme unction. The, could the last communion supposed to be like Christ, sabi niya, I will not receive the, the cup until the last line of the gospel today says, uh, I shall not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. The Beaticum is that food for our final journey. Yung katawan ni Kristo hanggang sa langit na yung susunod natin. The Beaticum. But we receive that every time. It is a foretaste of heaven. Wag natin hintayin pa bago tayo mamatay. The same body of Christ we receive every time we come to Mass is the same body of Christ we receive in our Beaticum. How beautiful it is. Lastly, lastly, last two, last two. Uh, we have been talking about foundational love stories. And we know how the Eucharist is foundational in our life. We know how important the foundation is made stronger by the body of Christ. We need to sustain the foundation by the body of Christ. It's why the Eucharist, the source and summit, that is our opening prayer. The Eucharist is the source and summit of our Christian life. Source, summit, the high point of our Christian life is the Eucharist. We pray, we pray that Eucharist, this Eucharist, will truly make us Eucharistic people. We are people of the Eucharist, people of Holy Communion. We pray this may be shown in our lives. We pray that it is truly the source of our strength, the source of our Christian life, the body and blood of Christ, the Holy Communion. We belong to the Holy Communion. We belong to the Trinity. We belong to the Holy Communion. We are all brothers and sisters with one Father, our Father. We all stand now as we together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before our ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, 
consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We all kneel for our liturgical novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We come together in the power of the Holy Spirit to offer the Eucharistic sacrifice to our Heavenly Father in thanksgiving for the great love he has shown us by giving us his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In his Son, he revealed the depth of his love to the symbol of the heart. As we prepare to unite our hearts with his in offering this sacrifice to the Eucharist, we pray to him for our needs and the needs of the people of God. Lord Jesus Christ, you promise that whenever two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be present among them. Come to us or assembled here to honor you in your most sacred heart. Fill our hearts with your blessings and grace, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. O Divine Jesus, hear and grant our petitions. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Obtain for us an increase of faith, hope and love, that we may remain faithful to our baptismal promises until death. O loving Jesus, hear and grant our petitions. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you. We come to you confident that your merciful love will lighten all our burdens of soul and body. O kind Jesus, hear and grant our petitions. Lord Jesus Christ, you have called us to share your saving mission. Sinners though we are, we accept this mission and we renew our baptismal promises. We renew our consecration of ourselves to your sacred heart and we offer to you ourselves and our loved ones to be united with your Eucharistic offering. That we may serve you with greater fidelity, we ask you to obtain the favors we seek in this novena. If what we ask is not for God's greater glory or for the good of our souls, grant us what is most pleasing to your divine goodness. Deepen our faith and touch fire to our hearts that we may respond with burning love. O heart of love, we place all our trust in you. We fear all things from our own weakness, but we hope for all things from your goodness. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this. Sorry. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that these sacrifice in yours be made acceptable to God our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray the gifts of unity and peace 
whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offering we are we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, He offered Himself to you as the unblemished Lamb, an acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race bounded by one world may be enlightened by the one faith and united by the one bond of charity. So as we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. With the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. To Gabriel Francis, our Pope, our Apostolic Administrator, Broderick, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and of all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be married to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, we pray to our loving Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the God of love, who heals and forgives. Humbled and blessed are we who are called to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. For those who will receive communion, you do not have to leave your seats. Please stand and the Eucharistic ministers will approach you. Do not take off or put up your face shield. Just remove your face mask. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Please stand. Grant, O Lord, that we may delight with all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel for our prayer of thanksgiving to the sacred heart of Jesus. Together, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for being with us today. We thank you for the grace that we have received from you. 
for the grace of your divine life in our souls, for the love of God our Father, and the abiding gift of the Holy Spirit, for the wonderful gift of your presence in the Holy Eucharist, and most especially for the love in your heart, which makes us more one with you and with each other in the depths of your sacred heart. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Heart of Jesus, pierced by a lance, a victim of sin. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful to those who trust in you. We are refuge in our strength and trial and temptations of life. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Draw us close to you and sanctify our lives with your grace. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Obtain for us the hour of our death, the grace to share in the glory of your resurrection, the new life of an ending happiness in heaven. Let us pray together. O Divine Savior, you love every man and woman with such profound intensity that you had to reveal it through the symbol of your wounded heart. Many of us live as though you do not exist. Many others ignore you or despise you or reject your precepts. In our parish, in our country, throughout the world, there are many Christians who are indifferent to your love. Perhaps in our own families and in our communities, you are not loved as you deserve. Lord, we want to make up with you because you have given us the grace to know and to love you inwardly as you wish. In the midst of a sinful world, we will be healthy members of your mystical body, overflowing with love. Through prayer and sacrifice, we will make reparation according to our abilities for the evil in the world and for the ingratitude of men and women. We will contribute our part so that you can offer to the Father in heaven a glorious human race. We can do it because we are united inwardly with you and share in your life's work and in your task of redemption. Heart of Jesus, heart of love, inflame our hearts with your love. Amen. Kindly be seated for some announcements. Novena Masses in preparation for the Feast of the Sacred Heart on Friday, June 11, will be until June 10. During the nine-day Novena Masses, there will be a half-hour vigil after the evening Masses to be followed by inspirational foundational stories from our guest speakers, including Bishop Broderick Pabilio, Bishop Ambo David, Bishop Milo Cobert Vergara, Father Luciano Feloni, Father Dave Concepcion, Father Dennis Paez, SDV, and Father Albert Alejo, SJ. All Novena Masses, as well as the half hour vigil and inspirational talks, will be live streamed on Facebook and YouTube. Finally, there will be imposition of Sacred Heart Scapulars on Friday, June 11 at 10 a.m. Those who wish to receive scapulars may please register at the parish office. Thank you. Uh, so, from Monday to Friday, we have the 6 o'clock Mass and then a 30-minute adoration. MAS and then the sharing MAS every day but today because we started at 6 30 we will not have the adoration we will skip to the we will now skip to the sharing Bishop Milo Vergara of Pasig will be our sharer for tonight he will be our recollection facilitator and our sharer uh, this evening maraming maraming salamat sa Patuloy na novena natin, novenario natin. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa kapistahan ng Corpus Christi. We continue to thank God for His love. We continue to thank God for the grace to be alive and to celebrate us. To celebrate this concretely in the flesh to the many foundational stories of God's love for us. Maybe all stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go, and may our hearts be like His. Thanks be to God. Jesus and Mary to stay for me. 
and Mary to stay. For if I keep them near me, then I will never go. A blessed day to all of you. Uh, I thank uh, Father Vic Apasible for inviting me to uh, share some thoughts with you, uh, especially on the year of St. Joseph. And as we all know, within uh, this year, uh, also the year of Misho Agentes gifted to give, uh, we are celebrating your feast day in the National uh, Shrine of the Sacred Heart uh, in Makati. Uh, it was prescribed that our overarching theme as we celebrate uh, our solemnity and also this uh, year of St. Joseph. Faithful heart of St. Joseph, loving disciple of the heart of Christ. Um, it's just good to give a little bit of uh, backgrounder again. No? Uh, I'm sure you all know that uh, when the year of St. Joseph was uh, declared uh, last December 8, it was actually written in this uh, Obedient Father, heart of Saint Joseph, heart of Saint loving Joseph, disciple loving of the heart disciple of Christ. Of the heart of Christ. Um, um, it's just good to give a little bit of uh, back give a little bit of uh, backgrounder again. No? Uh, I'm sure you all know that uh, when the year of Saint Joseph was uh, declared uh, last December 8, it was actually written in this uh, apostolic letter Patris. In honor of the 150th anniversary of St. Joseph's proclamation. Corde uh, and the uh, mission as patron uh, of the Universal this Church. Year in honor of in the, the very first line of the document, of Saint Joseph's uh, proclamation, it was actually written in this uh, apostolic letter. In the very first line of the document, uh, and, uh, it was uh, to uh, celebrate Father, this year in honor uh, of the 150th the anniversary of St. Joseph's Proclamation Saint Joseph as patron Jesus of the Universal Church. Four gospels referred to in the very first the line of the document, uh, Patris Corded the Holy Father it's interesting uh, that wrote the Holy Father with a father's heart that is how Saint Father Joseph Mary loved Jesus, Jesus Joseph, whom all four Gospels refer to as how the son would he describe the heart of Saint Joseph and in that uh, document as a it's father, interesting that as a tender, uh, the Holy Father presented father, as an obedient uh, father fatherly images of Saint father, Joseph no, and uh, raised a little bit of you, courageous father how would he describe the heart of Saint Joseph uh, as a beloved father, as a tender, loving father, as an obedient father, accepting father, courageously, creatively courageous father, working father, and father in the shadows. Uh, I, I would not expound on uh, these seven. I'm sure you can just uh, read through the document. No? Uh, but when I was reflecting on the, what to share with you, uh, given the heart of St. Joseph. You know, I thought of the acronym HEART. No? Para madali pong tandaan. No? Uh, and siguro, uh, yung pong ating uh, acronym, madali pong uh, 
makikita din itong seven qualities na sinasabi ni Pope Francis. No? And I'd like to draw inspiration also from what Pope Francis shared. I'd like to uh, also share some stories from my personal experiences that will help out uh, understand these qualities of the heart of St. Joseph. First, letter H, the heart of St. Joseph as a disciple of the heart of Jesus is a hard-working heart. Um, and we all know uh, that in Scripture, we look at Matthew 13, verse 55, uh, Jesus is always introduced as the carpenter's son. Palagi po yan, narinig natin yan. No? Kaya nga pag May 1, and it's good, nagkaroon po tayo ng national consecration to St. Joseph on May 1, because we always recognize uh, St. Joseph, the worker. Hardworking. Um, even before, perhaps, meeting Mary, Joseph already lived the life of a carpenter. And that would be carried over in his fathering Jesus. Mahalaga po yung hindi lang work, kundi hard work. Maganda rin tignan kung paano ito isang dapat value sa ating buhay. No? Uh, and when we look at the work we do, whatever that is, you and I know there is a tendency at times no, to uh, be tempted to slot. No? Ibig sabihin na yung, yung mga katamaran, no? tayo po ay kalibitan, uh, nagkakaroon ng mga karanasan na uh, hindi natin napagbubuti yung ginagawa natin. Pero alam nyo, uh, tignan natin si St. Joseph, I think he was hardworking uh, because he valued work. No? And he knew the work of his hands had meaning for something. Yun know, naalala ko tuloy, alam nyo nung uh, nag-aaral ako, no? uh, pag kami ay, ano pa yan, ha, na? high school, kahit papunta na po ako nung college, no? pag magpa-public transport kami, papunta ng school, pag pa-uwi po, no? pa, uh, padating po sa bahay namin, we would always pass by a uh, uh, fishbowl vendor. No? Uh, uh, ang tawag po namin dun sa... Uh, nagtitinda ng fishbowl si ano si Mang Romi. Excited po kami pag talagang ano ano kami ay uh, dadaan sa kanya. Siyempre no masarap yung fishbowl, yung sausawa no. Uh, alimitan pagkasama ko yung kapatid ko, mga kabarkada ko, talagang pag bago umuwi no, meron kaming pit stop diyan no. Uh, Tingin ko, hindi lang isang ano no isang stick ng fishbowl marami no kung alam niyo lang no um, anyway no um, i never realized no when i graduated na kamusta ko rin no sa mga nakababata kong kapatid si si Mang Romi no kasi at naitanong ko rin no nung ano na ako no uh, uh, naging seminarista na ako naging pari na ako Iba na yung nakikita kong ano, uh, nagbebenta ng fishbowl. Pero nandun pa rin dun sa lugar na yun, dun sa may uh, street namin na yun. Hindi kinuwento ng kapatid ko. Sabi niya, kuya, no? kung alam mo lang, yan pa lang si Mang Romy, no? may apat na anak, napatapos niya no? yung kanyang apat na anak sa pagtitinda ng fishbowl. Ako, napatigil ako. No? Tapos, no, okay na naman. No? Uh, yung nagtitinda ngayon ng uh, business niya, no, is fishbowl, isa sa mga anak na niya yun. Pero iba-iba-iba na yung profession. Sabi ko, tingnan mo nga naman, ano, what hard work and toil can do. I would like to think that this is what St. Joseph uh, not only did before, but in a way, train Jesus to do as a carpenter. 
Kaya maganda pong isipin no? itong uh, hard work, napakahalaga, ano man ang estado po natin sa buhay. And then second, I think the word uh, that we can use looking at the heart of St. Joseph is empathy. You know, the word empathy means a deeper understanding of the person. Like putting ourselves in the shoes of the other person. No? Uh, and that would be a better way to uh, understand what was about to uh, wed Mary, but then she, he realized that Mary was with child, pregnant. No? Paano to? It's like Mary who was asking the angel Gabriel, how can this be? That was also the same for Joseph. That's why, kumbaga para siyang nag, nagdalawang isip. Sabi niya, naku, this is a great scandal. Not only uh, this is against the law, but even against the uh, Jewish culture. But as we all know, uh, the angel also appeared in the dream of St. Joseph and explained everything. And then he understood why Mary became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. So because of this, Joseph is with Mary. He knew that this was part of the great plan of salvation. Alam niyo, sa buhay po natin, kalimitan, marami sa atin, judgmental, eh, hindi ba? No? Bang, uh, minsan, unang tingin lang, yun na, nakakapagbigay na tayo ng paghuhusga. And uh, without seeing things through, without putting ourselves in the shoes of the other. A few years ago, within this period of the nine years of preparation no, of uh, uh, our 500th year anniversary, uh, I think it was the year of the poor, you know, I decided to uh, invite a, uh, a poor family to my residence. No? Christmas Eve, celebrate a, uh, a poor family to my residence. Sabi ko dun sa mga kasama ko sa, sa residence, no? Maiba naman, no? Let's, let's uh, invite a, a family. And they were, no? Noche buena, no? Sabi ko dun sa mga kasama ko sa, sa residence, no? Maiba naman, no? Let's, let's uh, invite a, a family. And they were a group of scavengers, no? Talaga naglalako sila, no? Ng mga basura, na kung ano-ano dyan, no? But we, in a way, we have known them, no? Uh, because they... Uh, they would uh, also be frequenting our cathedral parish. Well, to cut the story short, so we invited them. No? So talagang pinaghanda namin, pinaghanda namin. Anyway, no, anong, ano, no, hindi nila alam na hindi lang yun ang handa namin, meron din kami mga uh, inayos na magiging regalo para sa kanila, para mabaon nila, pati yung food, everything. Nung nag-prayer of uh, blessing na ako for our meal, no, uh, Ang nangyari nga ay, of course, pumila na sila. Uh, nagulat ako kasi yung pagkuha nila sa food, para wala nang bukas. Talagang, ako, talagang pupunuin nila yung plato. No? Sabi ko, ay, we had all the night no, to do our second or third serving. But you know, I just allowed them to do that. No? No? Tapos, nagulat din ako, uh, nung umupo na sila, no? may baon sila mga plastic. No? Tapos, ano, uh, uh, naglagay na sila ng uh, mga ilan dung they got from the, the plate. No? Tapos nilagay nila doon para sinigir yung isa, sabi niya. Ano ho eh, hindi ho namin alam kung ganito rin bukas. No? Kaya nag, ano, nag, nagsubi na po kami. Kasi nag-share yung isa, sabi niya. Ano ho eh, hindi ho namin alam kung ganito rin bukas. No? Kaya nag, ano, nag, nagsubi na po kami. Kasi ba, baka wala po kaming kainip bukas. Na, napatigil po ako. Sa isip ko, una, ba't ganito itong mga to? Pero nung nag, ano na siya, nag, nagpaliwanag na. Tapos, sinabi niya na baka 
wala sila makain bukas. Medyo napaluha po ako. And then I really understood their world a little bit. Um, of course, pagkatapos nga nun, I had to you know, explain to them, no, ito yung mga pabao namin, ganun. They were so happy. They were so happy. Uh, magandang isipin, siguro ito po yung dapat nating uh, i-practice din sa ating buhay. To have a heart filled with empathy for others. So, kung tayo agad maghusga, no? let's see what the other is going through. And perhaps in understanding, uh, we can really wear their shoes. And I think this is how St. Joseph was able to be part of the plan of salvation of God. And then um, the third is A, a binding. Um, As we all know, when Jesus was born into the world, uh, Jesus in wisdom uh, in age he grew in in grace no all the years of of his life and all the years of of his life and i would like to think reading in between the lines this, this is how um, joseph lived with the whole family he was not only a witness but really part of the growing years of Jesus. Mahalaga po ito, no? kasi ito nga another word siguro is fidelity. That's why we can look at the heart of Joseph as really a faithful heart that honed also and helped in forming the human heart of Jesus, which was also a divine heart, no? uh, to live that fidelity given his mission. Naalala ko tuloy, ano, kasi pinag-uusapan natin abiding in love, faithful presence. Uh, many, many years back, you know, when I went to the U.S., no, I lived in a uh, relative's home. No, I was there for a, a short vacation. No. Uh, and then, I met a nanny there no, who who was who had the problem of course with her papers no Pilipina po ito no ang trabaho niya talaga ay nani no nag-aalaga ng ano ng, uh, ng mga bata ng isang uh, magulang din na mga Amerikano so well sa ngayon ayos na yung mga papeles niya no pero noong time na nakausap ko siya talagang hindi siya makauwi sa Pilipinas Katulad siya ng maraming Pilipino sa iba't ibang bansa na TNT, tago ng tago. No? Um, tapos, nung nandun ako sa bahay, nung, uh, during the period when I stayed in the house of our relative, na- nakakwentuhan ako din siya. And then, na-share niya. No? Di pa po ako obispo nun. Sabi niya, alam mo, Father, uh, Tagal ko na dito sa Amerika. Nagpapadala lang ako ng pera para sa aking anak. Meron siyang isang anak. At uh, nung iniwang ko siya, siguro mga ano siya, no? nine years old. Well, dahil sa technology, at least kahit pa paano, nagkakausap kami. Pero hanggang doon lang. Pero ang laki ng ano ko, no, na yung iyak ng puso ko kasi may inaalagaan ako no nung iniwang ko siya na 9 years old din binata na yung inaalagaan ko ngayon at dahil sa hirap ng buhay kaya ako pumunta rito nag TNT kasi gusto ko mapaaral yung anak ko sa awa po naman ng Diyos, nakatapos na po yung anak ko. Binata na rin po siya kaedad nung inalagaan ko. 
Pero sana yung ideal situation, father, no? Pero alam ko sa puso ko, yun ang maibibigay ko. Yun ang magagawa ko dala ng sitwasyon. Nung pinakikinggan ko siya, sabi ko, ah, ang hirap din, ano, at isa lang to sa maraming kwento ng maraming overseas Filipino workers. Kaya nga, siguro sinabi ni Po Francis, no, dun sa isang uh, quality na pinoint out niya, yung pagiging uh, uh, creatively courageous father ni St. Joseph, na ang kanyang karakteristik ay mga migrants, no, sa buong mundo. Ito po yung dinadaanan ng mga migranting Pilipino. And I think it's very interesting to look into uh, our own abiding in love to members of our family. The problem now is really parental absenteeism, isn't it? Because many are, you know, working abroad. But parental absenteeism is also real. Uh, even for working mothers and fathers uh, here in the Philippines. But I think that the whole point here is uh, if Joseph abided in love, was faithfully present to his son and even to Mary, in whatever way, can we also be able to do it? Can we live by it? And then, Second to the last, reflective. No? Um, nagkaroon na naman ng dream si St. Joseph kasi may threat kay Herod, di ba? Kaya ang nangyari nga, no, uh, siguro hindi rin niya alam ang gagawin niya. Si St. Joseph, pag naguguluhan, dinadaan na lang sa tulog. No? But we know in our scriptural references here that uh, it was the angel who again Uh, gave the cue on what he would do. And I think that was where he was able to journey and flee to Egypt with the Holy Family to protect uh, Jesus and Mary. Mahalaga yung ano eh, no? Uh, yung mga dreams ni St. Joseph. I think it was through the dreams that he was able to reflect on what is and what should be done. And I would like to see that this is one characteristic of his heart. He had a reflective heart. It was only uh, experience in the dreams and after the dreams. You know. Yan siguro mahalaga din po sa atin. No? Uh, all of us are invited no, to, to enter introspection. Problema lang kasi ngayon, yung ibang tao, hindi nag-iisip, no? hindi nagninilay. So, anong nangyayari? Ah, uh, Impulsive po tayo. Hindi na nakikita kung ano talaga yung leading ni Lord, kung anong dapat gawin. No? Uh, but you know, reflection takes time. No? Share ko lang po sa inyo. Alam nyo, my late father uh, was really against me entering the seminary. No? Uh, panganay po ako. Tapos, uh, syempre, gusto ng father ko, magkapamilya din ako. No? and, uh, you know, live a successful career. But, you know, I decided to, ano eh, to, to live, uh, to, answer, to answer the call and uh, live, my, live my life as if God willed it then and God willed it to become really a priest and a bishop. No? Pero alam nyo, no, nasa seminaryo ako, Talagang hirap, no? Kasi nar- nararamdaman ko yung sa father ko, yung magkakaroon na kami ng home weekend. Kikita ko na parang gusto niya sana lumabas ako sa seminaryo. I think it was on my third and fourth year when I saw signs that my father s- s- slowly accepted my, my happiness in answering the call. Hindi ko makakalimutan yung incident na yun kasi um, nag-free afternoon kami. Usually, merong half, half, half day kami after lunch. Di, umalis ako. Hindi ko na maalam, parang nagkasalisi kami. Yung father ko naman, parang merong uh, gagawin, napadalaw sa seminaryo. Pagdating ko, 
uh, inabot sa akin ng porter, oh, padala to ng father mo. No? Tapos, uh, merong Jollibee na spaghetti. <laughs> Tapos may note pa sa napkin. Kalagi to anak, nadalo lang ako. For me, that was a sign. He understood why I was in the seminary. And from then on, he was very supportive. It took time. It took a lot of reflection. But then, that also brought forth a development on his disposition about me being a priest. Kaya nga, I remember when I did my uh, Thanksgiving Mass in our parish, siya yung punong abala. Salaga tayo siya nag-ayos. No? Hindi ko in-expect. Ibang-iba nung uh, nagsabi ako sa kanya na magpapari ako at saka nung hinahatid ako sa seminaryo. Guru, this is also something that we have to develop a reflective heart to understand what God wants of us in our lives. So finally, trusting. No? Um, maganda rin makita ito no, dun sa life ni St. Joseph no, with the Holy Family. They were in Egypt. Siguro hindi nila alam kung ano mangyayari. They became refugees. But they just trusted that a time will come uh, that they would be led back. No? And uh, they would come home and be able to settle down permanently. But how did they do that? They just trusted in God. I think this is what Pope Francis has been telling us. That's why the sleeping Saint Joseph was popularized. No, pagandami do problema ni Pope Francis, magiipit na lang ng petition do no sa sleeping Saint Joseph image niya. Ginagawa ko din po yon no. Pero with during this time of pandemic, just to share with you, uh, I'm sure you also had your own concerns, anxieties, and fears. Uh, we're anxious about our health. Tatamaan ba tayo ng COVID-19? Kung tamaan tayo, tayo ba ay makaka, uh, makaka-survive? Daming infected. Kailan ba matatapos itong mga lockdown na to? Will the economy still improve? Sa akin, pinakamalaking tama po, you know, when uh, a number of my priests were infected by COVID and a few of them became really critical in the hospital. Doon ko naramdaman yung pagiging father ko sa mga pari ko. I was not only worried, more than worried. I was really fearful. But you know what I did? No? I prayed to God and asked the intercession of St. Joseph and I asked my priest to join me in prayer to beg to God through the intercession of St. Joseph that our priest would be healed. And thanks be to God naman po, our prayers were answered. Wala na po kaming kinapitan kundi ang Diyos. Wala na iba pong namagitan sa amin, of course, no, sa aming panalangin, nakita namin si San Jose. Siguro ganun lang po ang kailangan sa atin. Deep faith and trust in God through the intercession of our Mother Mary, St. Joseph, and in other saints. No? Uh, having said that, no, at least sana nakatulong po no, yung uh, acronym po natin na uh, HEART. No? Gusto kong mag, ano, no, mag-end po dito. Alam nyo, itong, yung icon na to ay something that was uh, popularized no, uh, in terms of imaging and symbolism during the National Conference of uh, uh, the Propagation of the National Consecration of St. Joseph. This was not the exact icon that was referred no, by uh, Bishop Midfield uh, Billiones no, of uh, the, the, the Diocese of Cebu, the, his the auxiliary bishop there. Pero, sabi nga niya, pag titignan mo yung mga images si St. Joseph, may mga tatlong mga tumitingkad na mga simbol. Yung una po, lily. Yung ikalawa, yung toolbox. Tapos, yung ikatlo, yung, yung always carrying Jesus or holding Jesus. 
And I think they will help us during our pandemic or, you know, whatever we're undergoing. You know? uh, and perhaps uh, feel the heart of St. Joseph. First, the lily. Sabi ni Bishop uh, Billiones yung lily, it's a flower. No? So, it, uh, any, any flower would also would blossom. So, uh, he shared that uh, the lily uh, may also mean the blossoming of hope. If you're in a crisis, if you're undergoing something difficult in your life, looking at this pandemic also, can we be hopeful? I think this is what the heart of Joseph, St. Joseph, is teaching us. Not to be helpless, but to be hopeful. And then second, the toolbox, no? Uh, sabi nga po, no, ang siya yung carpenter. Jesus is always introduced as the son of the carpenter. Um, can we also uh, see that any carpenter, craftsman, would work hard and would be tested in his work given resiliency? Marami na rin po sigurong dumaan ng mga pagsubok sa buhay natin. Uh, just look at the storms, the earthquakes, and now this pandemic, your personal problems. But in one way or another, we have survived. Like St. Joseph, who labored, we have become resilient. Resilient because of our faith. I hope you can feel that in the heart of St. Joseph. And finally, carrying Jesus. Uh, this means accompaniment when you hold someone, yung bang uh, hindi ka iiwan, you're secure, no? and one who guides. That was St. Joseph to Jesus. And I would like to think that when you imagine Joseph carrying Jesus or holding his hand, we can feel that we have the heart of Joseph also holding us and carrying us through whatever problems, crisis, even during this time of the pandemic. But the one really holding it is no one else but the Father God. That's why one of the characteristics of uh, uh, St. Joseph pointed out to Pope Francis is Father in the shadows. He is the shadow of the Father. And with St. Joseph with us, no? with God the Father with us, we can tread the path of life. We can go on our pilgrimage of faith. Um, to po yung prayer of St. Joseph by Pope Francis, no? Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son, in you Mary placed her heart, with you Christ became man, Blessed Joseph to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. And then another prayer. Alam niyo maganda po ito, no? ito do'y translated po ito, panalangin ni San Jose Marelo kay San Jose sa dakilang patriarka. Ating sambitin, kaming lahat ay iyong angkinin at nawa ikay maging lahat din para sa amin. Tinuturo mo sa amin ang daan, tinutulungan mo kami sa bawat hakbang. Kami iyong pinangungunahan sa ninanais ng paggabay ng Diyos na pagdadalhan. Tanaw man namin o hindi ang hantungan, Malayo man o malapit ang daan. Mahirap man o may kaluwagan. Pag-usad man ay mabilis o may kabagalan. Kapag kasama ka kami, may katiyakan na ang lahat ay may maayos na pagtutunguhan. Amen. With those two prayers, 
perhaps just some questions for reflection and further prayer. What image or images of the fatherhood of St. Joseph strikes me and I can relate to in my personal experiences and my Christian life? What qualities of the heart of St. Joseph do I hope to live out in my Christian life? We now end with a beautiful song that will help us further deepen our contemplation on the heart of St. Joseph who lived out the heart of no one else but Christ. Oh 
Anak mo.